Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and in today's video, I am going to be going through my spring and summer-ish haul. I don't even know if this can be considered spring anymore. A lot of these items here are very, very summery, so I don't know. Take it as you will. The three brands I'm going to be going through today are going to be Aritzia, Zara, and then finally ending with H&M. So I'm going to leave all the links at the bottom below for you and you guys can check it out. But if you guys are familiar with my hauls in the past, I feel like I'm very, very, very prone to buying neutral things. I'm not sure if it's because I'm changing as a person or because this summer a lot of the colors are becoming very, very trendy but I am definitely having a more colorful palette as you guys can see compared to what I'm usually used to and probably what you guys are used to. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get started on this haul. Okay, so before I get started on the haul, I just want to say that some of the tags are off, some of the tags are still on. I've already started wearing some of the items, so I will just leave all the names on the side below just in case whether or not I have the tags or not, and also, of course, I'm going to be going through sizing. So the first item that I have here today is the Wilfred Lover Dress. This one, I actually have the black tank top, so it just like cuts off like this. This is the dress version. I feel like this is super cute. For this item, I went with size small. That's very true to my size even though I'm quite short you would assume that I'm like extra small or something but throughout the years in Aritzia I actually like size small better for myself this is true to my size you guys might want to go down a size if you want to but this also comes in a tank top version that is super super cute the next item that I have is another dress from Aritzia so this one I can't remember the name but it's by Sunday Best and I have this in size small I've already worn this dress out and I just absolutely love this dress this actually reminds me of last Sears Sunday Best TV dress, which I'll leave a picture here for you as well. This one is sold out, but I still get a lot of comments on it. I feel like this one is a similar vibe. So that dress I wanted to get in a blue and white, but I was like, okay, Lisa, don't be ridiculous. Just get the one color. So I got white. This time when a similar peasant style dress came out, I ended up going with the blue version and I think it's super cute. The back even has this tie. I just really love that the dress pops out. So I typically like wearing this dress with my sandals, with the lace up and I think it's super, super cute. And I'll leave some pictures on the side. I've taken a bunch of pictures with this dress already and I just absolutely love it. The next item, I feel like if you guys follow me on Instagram and watch my stories, you would have already seen me go crazy with this item. Basically, this was me channeling my inner suburban mom. This dress just looks so amazing and put together. One of those dresses that is great if you're like meeting the family for the first time, like your significant other's family, especially in the summer. This is one of those dresses you look super put together, but at the same time, very stylish. Or you can channel your own inner suburban mom if you know you are a suburban mom. I'm not, so I was going with the meet the parents thing, but I just absolutely love the material of this dress. This one, I am just true to size as well, size small. I do like it a little bit bigger, so when I'm in between extra small and small, I just like to go with the size small. The next item that I have, I actually have a pair of pants from Wilfred and also a matching jacket. Once again, I can't remember the name. This one is true to my size. I am a size four because it goes up a little bit, but this pair of pants, I feel like I'm more in love with the color, but also just the tailoring of this pair of pants is so so, so, so nice. I love this material because it doesn't wrinkle easy. And I think that's everything I'm looking for because I hate ironing, I hate steaming. But this also makes me miss my office a little bit because I feel like there's not really much of an occasion to wear this, except if you're just going for like nice dinners and stuff. But I definitely recommend checking this out. It's also super comfortable. The matching jacket that I got looks like this. Once again, I'll leave the name on the side. And as usual, stuck true to size in a size small. And this is just like a really crop sweater. It's the same material. I feel like you don't need to necessarily buy the set as a whole. I think this would look cute as is, but I do like to wear it together as you guys can see on the side of me trying it on. This color is just so unique, such a great tone of green and it's just 
very summery, but also still really muted. So the next item that I have is also from Aritzia. This one I actually got in extra small because this item I actually picked up in store instead of ordering online. These guys I ordered online. This one I actually got it in an extra small and this one has been okay as an extra small. I just really wanted this blazer because me and Teresa, my podcast partner, we were doing a shoot for our podcast and also I just feel like I don't really have any more really professional looking gray blazers anymore. I have black and tan but I really really wanted a gray so I feel like this one is amazing especially if you guys are still going into the office. This is such a great item. It has that oversized look, more of a professional tailoring rather than like a casual tailoring. I am now going to move on to the Zara stuff. This first top, I'm just going to leave the reference number on the side because honestly I cannot remember the reference number but I just love yellow. I actually love yellow for the summer. Yellow as a color doesn't really speak to me unless if it's clothing in the summer. This is an example of one of them and I just absolutely love it. It's super super cute. I just love the crop but it's also still knitted. This one I'm also a size small. Basically for all of the Zara stuff I'm going to be a size small unless stated otherwise because that's literally just the only size that I usually get. No point of me going through all of them if they're all size small. But yeah this one is a size small and the color and the tone is super cute. I definitely recommend checking out this little cute sweater. The second item that I want to show you guys I haven't had an occasion to wear this yet but let me tell you if I had to narrow down like three things for my Zara haul this one is coming out on top. This top is so unbelievably cute. I actually placed another Zara order, which I'll also do another haul for. This, I realized, has a matching skirt, which I'm gonna try it on and see if that looks good. So far, it already looks good with this skirt. By the way, for my Zara haul, I just wanna do a disclaimer. I didn't even realize this. I did not buy any bottoms. So for the entire haul, I'm actually going to be wearing this skirt that I'm wearing right here to try all the pieces for you. I know I'm gonna get a question on the skirt, so I'm just gonna say that this is from Princess Polly. You might have already seen it from a previous Princess Princess Polly haul. The Princess Polly skirt just goes with everything in this haul. I made the right choice getting this skirt. Anyway, back to this top. This top looks really good just like with this plain white skirt, but I also want to try it with the matching bottom as well. This is probably one of my favorite, favorite tops. The only thing that I don't love about this top, which you guys might also relate to when it comes to Zara, I always feel like this actually. Their sleeves are kind of weird sometimes. For this one, I'm actually going to get my mom to kind of cinch it in for me at the top because the top top part slides off pretty often. I noticed that with a lot of Zara straps and they don't make it adjustable, which is kind of annoying. Some of the items do feel like that. So I'm going to go through that with you. Okay. So the next item is kind of similar. This item, to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to keep because initially when I was ordering online, I actually liked this top more, but after trying both of these, this top wins by a margin. This one, I don't know if I'm going to keep. It's cute, but like, I think if I keep this one, it's just too similar. This one, I also got in a small but the material is a little bit different this one's more like the silky material this one is more cottony so i think it's just more of preference for you guys and there's more of like a flower pattern to this one the next top that i have is another one that i'm obsessed with so i already took off the tag because i've already worn this top like five million times filmed a bunch of content with this top but it's just such a cute green color. Once again, looks super cute with this skirt. I can't even go on more about this top. I think I'm gonna wear this a million times this summer. Highly recommend checking it out. If this isn't your first time watching my hauls, then you'll probably know that I'm like kind of self-conscious with my arms. With this top, I just really like how it's puffy on the side because it kind of hides the bigger part of my arms that I'm a little bit self-conscious with. Some people might not relate and you guys are like, oh, you look fine, blah, blah, blah. I think it's just like a personal thing. So for me, when it comes to puffy arms, I just really really like it and I think it really de-accentuates my insecurities so even with this top it does that as well. This one is super cute and I definitely recommend checking this one out as well. This one is a silk top so this one I got it in a size small and I just really 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 like this. Once again sleeves are a little bit long. I feel like if you get this you either have like a longer top part of your body or you might be like me and you have to get it tailored in but this one is just super cute and it's a little bit cropped and also looks great with like a white skirt, white pants or whatever it is, jeans. I just think it's like a really nice top for even going for drinks or even like on a date and stuff like that. It's just super, super cute. And it has this really cute tying detailing on the side as well. And then the two little knots are at the front, which I thought was super cute as well. The next top is another one that I'm 
obsessed with okay so i took off the tag but i remember the price i think this one is like 25 dollars canadian just the way that you would tie this top is so 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 cute this would look super good with jeans or even once again with this damn skirt because like it just goes with everything this top is just oh like so worth it for me i definitely recommend checking this out as well and i just think that the tying detail is super cute and i think it's super trendy this season so definitely check out this top i'm gonna move on to dresses now the first dress that i have another yellow item so this yellow dress this one actually reminds me so much of my white blouse in the tie in the front and I absolutely love that detailing for the white blouse that I have, which is also from Zara. And I got so many questions about it. But this dress has that exact, exact detailing right here, which is this tying portion. This is like a really nice, once again, like summery dress. And it has like a silky material, even like as a wedding guest, potentially, if it's more on the casual side, going for brunch, etc. in the summer. I just think this dress is super, super, super cute. This next dress, I am also absolutely obsessed with. I just don't know what occasion I can wear this dress in, but it's this white dress and it has such cute little cutouts on the side and it just looks super put together. It's $50 from what I recall and it just looks absolutely amazing. I don't know when I'm going to wear this. I am definitely keeping this around in my closet for whatever the occasion is. I really hope that this summer I have an occasion to wear this dress because this dress just looks super elite. Also, I think this comes in a black. So if you're not a fan of the white, I think you can get the black. I'm not sure though. Don't quote me on this but i believe there is a black the material of this dress also is just like very very structured and put together it kind of reminds me a little bit of rachel green's dress in friends where she wore like this black dress it didn't have the cutout and it was a little bit longer but i always thought that dress looked amazing on her this one kind of gives me that same vibe but white the next dress oddly this dress when i saw it online i knew i had to get it it just spoke to me so it looks like this and it's just very very puffy you you can wear it like very very puffy as is i love that this also has pockets and the reason why i say this is because i feel like zara doesn't typically insert pockets i don't know if it's because they cheap out on the manufacturing hence why they don't have the adjustable straps like i don't know what it is but the fact that they have pockets finally i'm like yes thank you also the strap for this one i need to have it adjusted a little bit but this dress is super super cute you can also wear it with like a belt so i have my gold belt this is the only belt that i have in vancouver so you're gonna see me wearing this a lot Lot. It looks also really really great with a belt so you can wear it just kind of loose as is or also with a belt I'm also pairing it with a headband that I also got from Zara Which I'm gonna go through with you in a second But if you guys follow my stories on Instagram, you guys will already know that I'm trying to make headbands a thing I just feel like this casual like headband vibe just has such a great summer vibe to it The two items paired together is super super cute The next item on the list is this little cute jumpsuit and once again the straps are not adjustable on the top part so you are gonna have to get the cinched because this is definitely really long for me but this is super super cute i actually have been looking for this type of jumpsuit for the summer for a very long time the color the material the style i'm really really glad i found it i also feel like this jumpsuit goes really well with once again the damn headband if i have convinced you now to get the headband there are two items that look perfect with it jumpsuit just honestly has that like really really cute summer casual vibe like kind of almost like a farm girl vibe but without going super farm girl so if you like the style too definitely check out this jumpsuit the next item that i have is this cropped blazer when i put it on instagram you guys all went crazy for it and asked immediately for the link of this blazer i think from what i remember this is like 80 bucks which is similar to my full length blazer also from zara so i'm like um why is it 80 dollars you're missing half the material so it should be like 40 bucks but anyway whatever really cute regardless and once again goes super well with this skirt if i haven't sold you on any of the items here at least i hope i have sold you on this princess Polly skirt because it just clearly goes with everything this crop blazer is still super cute it is a little bit oversized so stick definitely true to size once again still a size small but if it looks a little bigger i think it's supposed to look like that and i think i like that look of oversized for this one definitely check out this blazer as well 
next item from Zara is this long cardigan that is sleeveless. To be honest, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one because there is one that I have already kept. I just feel like the vibes are a little too similar, so I probably won't keep it, but I just kept it in to show you guys. In the previous hauls, you guys told me to just show you the items that I'm not going to keep anyway. That was the feedback that I got from a lot of people. So here I am showing you the dress anyway. This is really, really cute. So it has the same vibe. I think it's just up to you if you want like sleeveless, not sleeveless. It is still like almost a floor length, which I love personally. This one has that very drapey material. I feel like it's perfect for summer, especially on just like a semi-cold night. Maybe for this one, you need to wear something underneath, but it just has that very cozy vibe and I just love it. You can also wear it together, obviously, and have it buttoned up. It's up to you. I prefer to wear it open or the few times that I've tried it on, but this is what this one looks like. Basically, now going to the cardigan that has made me decide probably not gonna keep that one. It's this cardigan right here, and this one is just like a full-on cardigan. I actually have a very similar one from Oakenfort from a long time ago in a light blue, and everyone was crazy about that cardigan. This is the exact same vibe, so if you're watching this and you were like simping over the sold-out Oakenfort cardigan, this is your second chance. This cardigan is literally the exact same style, and if anything, it's actually more practical because of the color. It's just white. This one, I can't remember how much it is, but it's super cozy, also like floor length. I think it's just absolutely perfect for the summer, especially if you have like a slip dress. It just looks so good with a slip dress or even this outfit or something like that. So something that I definitely think you need as like a cold summer weather day. Moving on to accessories, I have the one headband that I'm talking about from Zara. So this is what it looks like. As you guys can see up close, it's just like a linen material. And I just feel like this style is really going to be very popular this summer. I don't know. It's my guess or just me trying to make it happen. I don't know what it is. I just feel like this goes really well with some of the previous items that I've mentioned and I really like the color as well. I'm actually going to go on to H&M now. For H&M, I've only purchased kind of like accessories and shoes so far. The two accessories that I picked out are these two silk scarves. As you guys may know from last summer, silk scarves were such a thing. Obviously, instead of just using it for your neck, kind of like a hair accessory, but also you can use this as like a top. Use it to tie and wear kind of strapless like this. I'm not actually gonna show you guys. Maybe I'll do another scarf wrapping video. I bought it in both patterns. I bought it in this floral one from H&M and then I also bought it in this black detailing and I think it's super cute. I feel like the scarf trend is not going away. If you guys were looking for silk scarves, this is pretty great and yeah, I really like both of the patterns actually. Finally, I'm going to the shoe section of H&M. So I bought three pairs of shoes from H&M. First pair of shoes that I bought are these strappy heels right here and they're in the lavender color. I also bought the exact same strappy heels in the brown color I am wearing right now but also in all of the outfits in this video. This is extremely versatile. If you want to just pick the one color, obviously go with the brown. I really really like the lavender. I think lavender is going to be such a trend for 2021. Not just for shoes but like for clothes as well. I wanted to keep this also and the best part is that this is super affordable. So it's $35 Canadian. So many people on Instagram had asked for the shoes. I tried looking for the link on the US and Canadian side, but unfortunately, I think it's just completely sold out online. So I was able to snatch these in store. So if you guys are looking for these pairs of heels, you're going to have to go in store because it's not online right now. Definitely recommend. They've been super comfortable. I've been wearing them all day and very affordable as well. The last item that I have from H&M are these other heels and they are so, so cute. I just really like the color and the vibe. I think this puffy like thing is just such a trend this summer. I've seen it almost everywhere. I would suggest hopping on the trend ASAP if you guys are into trends. It's also once again very affordable. I actually can't remember how much these shoes are so I'll probably just leave a link here. These ones are online though so you guys can definitely just purchase these guys online and I'll leave a link down below. But super comfortable. I've worn it a couple of times. It really goes with everything because of the color as well so definitely check these out. All right so so that was pretty much the entire haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been a hot minute since I filmed a haul. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.